Fugard's latest production, The Mother, places this issue under the spotlight, which some reviewers have described as magnificent, mischievous, funny, sad, wise, and desperately poignant. Now, The Mother is directed by one of South Africa's most prolific directors, Janice Honeyman, with an all-South African star cast headed by Anna Mart van der Merwe. Now, The Mother follows the critically acclaimed sell-out South African run of its companion piece, The Father. And to tell us more, we are joined from our Seapoint studios by two of the cast members, Amy Louise Wilson and uh, Sven Riegrok, who joins us now. Uh, Amy, Sven, thank you very much uh, for joining us. I hope I didn't destroy your surname, Sven. Let's uh, start with you, Amy. Uh, we briefly touched a little bit on what the mother is about, but from your perspective, for the benefit of our viewers, what is it really about? I think um, the play is about a woman who is in a lot of pain. She has kind of shaped her whole identity around what it's like to be a mother. Um, and now her children are all grown up and they've left home. And um, she just kind of doesn't know who she is anymore. Um, and so I think it's kind of about like the smothering love of mothers, um, but it's also about children um, knowing kind of like when, when to let go of their parents and how to do that. Sven, let me bring you to this conversation. I, I want to talk a little bit more about the play and the fact that you're working with Janice Honeyman and at, at the Fugue and all of that kind of stuff. But talk to me about your character uh, uh, quickly. Right, so I play the son um, who has quite a prominent presence throughout the play um, because it is um, this loss of love that the mother is feeling so strongly. Um, so I play the character called Nicholas um, who has come back from a rather uh, hefty fight with his girlfriend. Uh, but I don't want to give too much away. I yeah. really think audiences should come and, and check it out. Um, but it is an incredible play, a very powerful play, um, and it is a nail-biter the whole time. Uh, Amy, your character? Um, so I play Nicholas's girlfriend, um, and I have a very, very toxic relationship with the mother, who's played by the wonderful Anamad van der Marwe. Um, and we have an incredibly difficult relationship. Um, she's very, very jealous of my relationship with her son because she feels like I've tried to take her away from her son or take her son away from her. Um, so there's a lot of kind of like butting heads of, of these two women. Guys, obviously you know that this is a very topical uh, conversation. This is an issue that really affects a lot of people, especially in households where, as you've stated, uh, Amy, at the beginning, this is where, you know, where parents have centered their entire lives around their children. What were some of the discussions that you had as a collective in terms of how you wanted to tell that story? Because it could be quite easy to tell the story from a very negative perspective. Absolutely. I think it is very, very easy to, to take it from a negative perspective. But I think it was just to be, to be honest and to really reflect on our own personal lives, our own families, from people that we know. And I do know a lot of mothers, whether it's been uh, like newborn babies or mothers who have suffered greatly. Because, I mean, there are a lot of books written about um, parenthood or parenting. But there are, there's not a lot of information about mm. what to do once your children leave. Mm. Uh, and it was that kind of a conversation. What happens? Where does your identity go? Where does your values suddenly go? When you wake up and you realize you've been married for 50 years or 30 years and you no longer in your mind serve a purpose, what mm. then? And I think that is the question that we, we discussed and we, we asked ourselves and we deliberated and we really had a lot of fun um, just playing with that idea. Amy, have you ever in real life been the girlfriend that the mother doesn't like? <laughs> <laughs> I am lucky enough to have um, my boyfriend's family is very kind and my <laughs> mother-in-law is very nice to me. So I can't personally relate, but I have a lot of friends who have been through this situation and it's a really difficult one. Um, but I think there's a lot of tragedy in this play, but there's, there's quite a lot of humor as well. And Anumad Fanavarva manages to do this really beautifully. She goes in a matter of minutes from horror to anguish to ecstasy, um, and she manages to kind of walk that fine line between like the smothering, strangling relationship of a mother and and that like deep, unshakable love, which we which most of us can relate to. 
Talk to me about this this cast because uh, it's been described as an in incredibly strong cast. I mean, Janice Honeyman is a legend. Uh, Amy, I'll start with you. Just that kind of energy and kind of the direction. What has this experience been like? It's amazing for Sven and I as young actors um, to work with a cast like this. We have Anamart in the leading role. Um, and her husband is played by Graham Hopkins, who's a wonderful, really technically experienced actor. And I think most people know Janice Honeyman for her brilliant pantomimes, which she's been doing for so many years. Mm. Um, so this is quite a departure from her usual style, but she has a way of really, really holding actors and making them feel really safe. Um, and she's very sensitive and she, she manages to kind of bring out this like deep interrogation into the human condition in a, in a really um, insightful and powerful way. Mm. Sven, I can only imagine, you know, on the back of what Amy is saying, that because of the way this, this has been structured, that every uh, actor has to bring their A game, that there isn't any um, lightweight positions on a cast like that. Just how emotionally and physically draining is it to be part of a production <laughs> like this? It's so funny, just moments before we actually went live, both of us, both Amy and myself were sitting here like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's exhausting, it is exhausting. I think the, the thing is about what we do and why we love what we do is there is no nine to five. You, we don't come home and you know, put the briefcase down and say, hello, love, and continue with our lives. I think every single moment of our lives, whether we're stuck in traffic, whether we're having uh, conversations with friends out at a braai, mm. you're thinking about your character. You're thinking about what went through the day before, what conversations did you have? Because you are experiencing in the moment, you are feeling these things. You are feeling uh, extreme anxiety, extreme rage, extreme frustration. Um, and it's about finding a way to just, ooh, okay, let me, let me make a good cup of tea and just like process, ooh. process. Because it is very difficult to let that go. And like you said, you can't coast on, on something like this. You know, I can't sit backstage and just like park off and have a bit of a nap. You've got to be on it because it is so intense. It is so powerful. And like Amy said, I think she hit the nail on the head. For both of us, it's like watching a masterclass. It really is. It's, it's, it's a lesson that I think I won't ever forget. Look, it will be remiss of me not to mention the father. It was incredibly successful. Um, do, do you feel a bit of pressure? And I, I don't know if it's collective, maybe it's not you, maybe it's Janice, maybe it's the rest of the team. But do you feel a bit of pressure to have a show that is as successful as The Father was? It was sold out. Mm. Yes. Um, I, I was also in The Father. Um, and yeah, it was a, a very different experience. Um, headed up by Marius Veyers and a, a different director. Um, I think the two plays, although they're written by the same right, playwright, I think that they're very, very different. Um, and I don't think that it's necessarily useful to compare them. Yeah. This is more of the woman's kind of play. Um, whereas the father dealt with Alzheimer's, this deals with quite a different subject matter. Um, but I think that the Fugard has a reputation for consistently putting on brilliant shows um, and really, really amazing new scripts, yeah. um, which is something that is um, quite rare for South African audiences to see. So I think, um, yeah, the Fugard just continues to kind of prove why they are one of the foremost theatres in this country. Guys, we're going to leave it there, but we're going to encourage every South African, everybody who's in our board at the moment to go, if they're in Cape Town, to go and check it out. That's the cast members of the Fugard's latest production titled The Mother. That's Amy Louise Wilson and uh, Sven Regrock, I hope I'm saying his uh, surname correctly, opens at the Fugard Studio Theatre uh, from the 7th of February and will run until the 4th of March. Say so you have no reason not to watch it. And of course, as part of the all-star cast you. is Anna Mart van der Merwe and is directed by one of South Africa's most prolific directors, Janice Honeyman. We take an ad break. You don't go anywhere. <laughs>